I'm Pastor Salem. Want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we're always happy for the weekends because that's when we get to share with you and to visit with you and uh, and uh, and just talk to you and just uh, we just feel, feel your heart beat as we worship the Lord together. And then we think of so many of you that don't know Jesus and you don't never accepted him. And now today the Holy Spirit won't hear just be something. He'll say, I just need Jesus. And you just pray and ask him into your heart. And, uh, and so we just rejoice that we can wonderful work with our wonderful Savior in bringing people to Christ and helping other people get along in life. We're reading from Luke chapter 22. If you have your Bibles, you want to turn there. Luke 22 and verse 29. And Jesus had been with his disciples and had the upper room and all of that. And now he's going to the Garden of Gethsemane. And he's going to pray. And then he's going to go to the, before Pilate. And then he's going to the cross. And so we're reading the part here where he's going out to, he's going to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane. Gethsemane, Luke 22, verse 39. And he came out and went as he was wont to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and he kneeled down and he prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me, Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven and strengthened him. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he arose up from prayer, he was come to his disciples. He found them sleeping for sorrow and said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. So we're going to pray. And in our prayer this today, we're praying for the persecuted church in Tunisia. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this story. It's sad in a way as we see Jesus going to all this suffering. And what's he suffering for? He's suffering because he's going to take our sins. He had no sins of his own, and he was perfect from all eternity past, and he will be all eternity and the future. And, and yet here he is going through all of this agony and suffering, and as he's sweating, as it were, great drops of blood, and he's doing it because he's going to take our, our sins in his own body and carry them to the cross and pay for them with his blood. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. We can't put into words how much we thank you for that because we would put our, our soul to go into hell if you hadn't have made a way of escape for us. But you paid the way, and all we need to do is to receive you and walk with you. And so, Lord, we just pray for you. And then we pray for our persecuted church, Lord. Many of them are worshiping with us right now, shortwave radio. And they're gathered together in different places to worship and help them to know we just love them and we admire them and we then and we encourage them to stand true, stand true. And I wonder sometimes if I would be in their shoes, if I would stand true. And I just don't know, Lord. I hope so, but I don't know. I don't know what I do, but I want to. I know what I want to do. But these folks, these brothers and sisters are in the middle of it right now. And some of their friends and relatives and loved ones and family have died because they stood for you. So bless them in Tunisia, in all parts, but especially Tunisia today. So now, Lord, use this service. Use it to honor Jesus, to glorify your name. That's our prayer in Jesus' name. 